Welcome to the Stage 13 Review. In Stage 13, we met the infinitives of all four conjugations, and we added three new irregular verbs to the one that we already knew, sum, to be. We added possum, be able, wallow, want, and nolo, not want. And we also meet the enclitic, que. An enclitic is a tiny little word that attaches like a tail onto the end of another word. By the end of stage 13, you should be able to translate the infinitive form as to blank, and you should be able to recognize the conjugation, the family that a verb belongs to, by looking at its infinitive. Are, fourth conjugation, Ere, second conjugation, era, third conjugation, and ere, fourth conjugation. You should also be able to understand the new way that verbs are presented with principal parts in the vocab checklist. And you should always memorize these principal parts when you're learning new verbs, as in the following examples. So here's the vocab checklist for stage 13. And let's just take a look at deco. So we have Dico, dicere, dixi. They've given us three principal parts. Or ruo, rure, rui. Or vulnero, vulnerare, vulnerawi. That's how verbs are going to be presented from now on. So let's take a look at what those principal parts actually mean. The first principal part, and our example verb is going to be porto. The first principal part gives you the first person singular of the present, I carry. The second principal part gives you this new infinitive form, to carry. And the vowel there in front of that final RE is going to show you what conjugation the verb belongs to. The third principal part gives you the first person singular of the perfect. So here, portawi, I carried or I have carried. You take off that ending, that personal ending, that final long I, and you'll have the perfect stem. So it used to be that our verbs came in this form in the vocab checklist, portat, portawit. Okay, now we get porto, Portawi. So instead of the third person of the present and the third person of the perfect, we're going to get the first person of the present and the first person of the perfect and the infinitive in between them. And that's because this is the way that real Latin dictionaries do it with the first person singular. So, porto, portare, portawi, that long A shows that it belongs to the first conjugation, and there's the perfect stem. Dokeo, doke, re, dokui, that long e shows that it belongs to the second conjugation, and there's the perfect stem. Traho, trahara, troxy, the short e shows that it belongs to the third conjugation, and there's its perfect stem. And finally, audio, audire, audiwi, the long I shows that it belongs to the fourth conjugation, and there's its perfect stem. Now, que. You should know that when you see que at the end of a word, you should translate it as and, and you're going to put that and in front of the word. Okay? So... I don't know. Leo, um, Leo Canisque, a lion and a dog. You should also be able to recognize and translate all the forms of the present of possum, wolo, and nolo, and to fill out the following charts. So we'll start with possum. And possum is really a compound of the verb sum, be, that we already know. So look, sum, s, est, sumus, estus, sunt. And you put 
pot in front of the form of sum, except if the form of sum begins with an S, then it becomes pos. So possum, potest, potest, possumus, potestus, possunt. It's really just a compound of the verb sum, and it means be able. Now, wolo, wis, wolt, wolumus, woltus, wolunt. This one is tricky. It means want, but if you know wolo, wis, wolt, wolumus, woltus, wolunt, then nolo to not want is easy, where the form of wolo has this O in it after the V. Okay, those three forms. The known of known wolo combines. So nolo, nolimus, nolunt. Where the form of wolo doesn't have an O after the V, the known and the form of wolo don't combine. So we end up with nolo, non wis, non wolt, nolimus, non woltus, nolunt. As always, you should know all the words in the vocab checklist, including principal parts for verbs, both from Latin to English and from English to Latin. And remember, there's a Quizlet list up there to help you out.